Macbeth by Giuseppe Verdi. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The roles. Macbeth, Scottish King's Commander. Lady Macbeth, his wife. Banco, Scottish King's Commander. Macduff, Scottish Nobleman. Malcolm, King Duncan's son. Witches have gathered in a forest. Macbeth and Banco are on their way home from a victorious battle and meet them. They prophesy Macbeth, that he will become the ruler of Corder and later be crowned King of Scotland. Banco asks about his fate. The witches prophesy that he will not become king, but that of kings the father. A messenger appears and announces that the ruler of Corder has been executed, and that Macbeth will take his place. The first part of the prophecy has come true, and Macbeth is only one step away from the crown. He turns pale and thoughts of murder appear. Banco senses that Macbeth has changed. In the castle Lady Macbeth reads a letter from her husband. She learns about the witch's oracle. Macbeth wants to know whether she is ready to walk over dead bodies to aspire to the royal throne. Her ambition is boundless. She wants to do everything in her power to help her husband obtain the royal crown. A servant appears and announces that the king will pay them a visit in the castle. A murder plot takes shape. Back in the castle, Macbeth still hesitates to take the fateful step, but he has nothing to counter his wife. Finally he agrees to take the step, also driven by his own ambition. The king appears with his retinue and at night Macbeth stabs him in his bed. From now on he is tormented by the memories of this act, and he knows that he will never again find a peaceful sleep. His wife does not understand his torments of conscience. The suspicion falls upon Malcolm, the heir to the throne. When he flees to England, the way is clear for Macbeth. He receives the royal title, but feels threatened by the witch's prophecy. Together with his wife he decides to let more blood flow. In a forest. Assassins have gathered to ambush Banco and his son. They are on their way to Macbeth's castle. Banco finds death, but his son escapes. Meanwhile, a banquet is held in the castle and Lady Macbeth welcomes the guests with a brindisi. Hypocritically Macbeth reports the guests that Banco is still missing. He's secretly told of Banco's murder and his son's escape. Suddenly, he is overcome by a vision. He sees a figure of Banco on the chair next to him and he begins to talk to him. With horror the guests realize that a mentally deranged king is talking to a ghost. His wife tries to save the situation with a drinking song, but Macbeth completely loses his temper. The next day Macbeth decides to visit the witches to learn more about their prophecies. Among the witches are three apparitions which announce the prophecies. The first warns him to beware of Macduff. The second warns that no man born of woman could harm him. The third, that he is invincible until a forest like an army advances to attack. At last eight kings appear, passing by him, whose last Banco is. Macbeth sees his fears confirmed and collapses. When he wakes up, his wife is with him. He tells her the prophecy and they decide to destroy the influential nobleman Macduff, Malcolm and their families out of the way. Macduff and his troops are camped along the border. They mourn their exile and the fate of their country terrorized by Macbeth. Macduff managed to save himself, but his family was destroyed. His army has joined forces with Malcolm's troops. They camouflage themselves with branches from the forest of Burnham, and advance on the castle of Macbeth. In the castle Lady Macbeth is tormented by visions. In a state of mental derangement she tries to wipe imaginary blood stains from her hands. Macbeth realizes that the prophecies are gradually being fulfilled and suspects that he will soon die. Apathetically, he takes note of his wife's death. When he is told that the forest of Burnham is moving towards the castle he wants to fight his last battle. When he learns in a duel with Macduff that his opponent was born with a caesarean section, the last prophecy comes true and he falls in the duel. The troops celebrate the victory and Malcolm is crowned the new king. www.operainside.com All about operas. Learn more about this great opera. With interesting facts and great YouTube videos. Visit us.